The Brundtland definition of sustainable development is popular but vague, and therefore there have been attempts to make it more precise. And I'm going to discuss these attempts in three groups, starting with weak sustainability. Jack Pesci argued that sustainability means that utilities should not fall. What we care about is human happiness, and as long as things don't get worse, we're sustainable. Obviously, we would want things to get better, uh, but the minimum requirement is that things do not get worse. The problem uh, with utility is that it's a bit of an elusive uh, concept, and therefore Hartwig argued that instead we should focus on consumption. The Hartwig rule has that a constant level of consumption can be maintained indefinitely if all the scarcity rents from resource extractions are invested in other capital. That is, if you cut down a forest and you spend all the money uh, on booze and cigarettes, then you're running down your capital stock and that is not sustainable. Uh, but if you're cutting down a forest and you invest the money in building a machine that generates a different kind of product that allows you to maintain total consumption, then that is fine and that is sustainable. So the principle, uh, the idea here is that you keep the principle uh, intact, the total principle, and you live off the service flow alone. You don't run down your capital stock. Uh, Robert Solo added to that, uh, well, if we live in a finite world, which we do, then the implication is that the best we can hope for is to keep consumption constant. We can't let consumption grow because we will run out of something uh, eventually. Um, the problem with these three definitions and its variants uh, is that we're talking about utility or we're talking about consumption, but it's not clear whose utility and whose consumption we really mean. Is this the global average? Is this true for the average in every country? Or is it true for every living person? Um, it's also not clear at what time scale uh, this should be. Obviously, sustainability is something that is defined in the longer term. Uh, so if we have a century or so uh, of running down consumption, uh, falling consumption, then that is obviously a problem, um, but if it's for 10 years, is that a problem too? If it's for a year or a month, a utility is falling, is that a problem too? Is the current uh, pandemic an issue of sustainability? As we run down the living standards of a lot of people for a year or so, is that a sustainability problem? I would argue not. Sustainability is something that should focus on the long term, but where does the long term uh, start? Um, the key points uh, of uh, the key part, the key tenet of weak definitions of sustainability is that substitution is allowed. And then you can clearly see that in the Hardwick rule, if you cut down the forest and replace it with something else that generates equivalent consumption, that is fine. If we cut down all the forests in the world and replace our enjoyment of walking in the forest with virtual reality, that is weakly uh, sustainable. A lot of people would take uh, uh, would take issue with that. Uh, another thing that isn't answered in these uh, definitions is the question: What is utility? It's an elusive concept, as I said, but consumption is also actually hard to measure because consumption of a single item is easy to measure, but we consume a basket of goods. Um, and essentially, when you're comparing consumption over time you're, or over place, you're comparing the consumption of a basket of goods. And who says that the weights that you put in that basket are the correct weights? Um, uh, Talbot Page. Again, Robert Solo uh, therefore instead argued that sustainability is really not so much about our utility or our consumption, but our options to produce. Uh, sustainability is about non-declining production opportunities. And because it is in the long term, it's the, um, an option to produce rather than that we impose on our children or grandchildren that they should have the same basket of consumption goods that we have. 
if you, that means if you instead focus on the production opportunities, then you take away that element of uh, paternalism. Um, but this doesn't, of course, answer uh, the question of production for whom is it a world average is for every person on the planet mm, production is also problematic uh, to define and to measure just as consumption is um, the issue of time scales is still there uh, but the key element of weak sustainability that substitution is allowed is still there and if you take away one production opportunity uh, by uh, draining a swamp for instance to replace it with something else that produces something equivalent, then that is fine. That is still sustainable. 